One of the most common questions is, no, I started my business. How can I do marketing for free? Number one, a blog. I know you guys have heard this shit before, but here's what a blog is. A blog is like a garden, right? When you do an advertising, you put in money, you get the ad, but then when you stop putting the money, it's gone. With a blog, it's like a garden. You plant a seed, you water it. Eventually you get this huge forest that'll keep paying off dividends. It may not happen right away, but the best thing about a blog is that it pays off for a long period of time. As well, it creates education for your customers so they trust you. Imagine it, like if I go and teach you something like in this video about five things you do for marketing, you're probably gonna listen to some of my recommendations like usumo.com. Number two, a dream 100. A dream 100 is that, let's say you're a photographer. Think about who would be your dream 100 people that you'd wanna take photos of. Or let's say you're a YouTube person, you wanna do collaborations. Who'd you be your dream 100 to make YouTube clouds with? Or let's say you're selling software. Who'd be your dream 100 clients? What happens is whenever I meet businesses, I'd say 99% of them, I'd say, hey, well, if I could bring a customer to you today on a dish right here, who would you want that customer to be? And they're like, I don't know, someone like this, random. And I'm like, that's exactly your problem. So what I want you to do, maybe a hundred's too much, but make a list of at least 10 people that you'd want as a customer. Let's take an example at sumo.com. We love helping e-commerce sites, SMBs, and sites. And we basically have lists of companies and then we go out to them and we say, caffeine and kilos, you should use our stuff. They go use it. So go make your own dream 10 or a hundred list. And then you just go through that list, contacting those people. Number three, this is one of the easiest ones. Back in the day, I used to do a virtual currency business called Gambit. And what we do is we would power virtual currency for Facebook games. Remember those annoying things? Hey, join my farm, fuck your farm. I would go to people and say, hey, you should use Gambit. And I would have to do all these things and eventually I would be able to sell them. I would actually get my customers to be my salespeople. Your customers are your best salespeople. So what I would do is that I would go to a new potential client and say, hey, I know you're gonna think I'm gonna sell you. Don't even worry about it. I think you should meet this other company because they're doing cool things. Plus they're using us and you can actually hear what the real deal is. So what's fascinating about that is that your customers get to connect with new people, which they like, and your customer will then sell for you. And they will sell a lot better than you will ever sell. If you don't wanna do that, just set up lunches or meetings or events so that your customers can come together with new potential customers. But your referrals is one of the easiest things that you can do for recruiting, for sales, and also for dating. That's what you're trying to get. Another thing I wanna just caveat with referrals that's really important is you've gotta give lubrication. And the second thing is incentive. So if I said to you, hey, go refer someone right now to this YouTube channel, I'll wait. You didn't do it. Exactly, why not? So one, you don't really have an incentive to do it, or two, you're not lubricated. So what would be better is, hey, if you share this video and leave a comment, I will give you $5. I'm not doing that. But that would actually incentivize you. Or you would be incentivized if, let's say we're talking about marketing and your friend's starting a business. So send this video to one friend who is starting a business. Isn't that a lot easier for you to actually send because I've just lubricated it. So lubrication means that you're making it really easy for the person to refer. Make it super easy. If I'm trying to get you to refer a customer, let me give you the email template. If I'm trying to give you like an introduction, let me give you the words to use. Number four, internal networks. That sounds really like business jargon. So when we do recruiting at sumo.com, every person who hires after two weeks, we say, hey, Let's sit down and go through every single person in your LinkedIn and look for them to potentially join the team. Because we think you're great, we would assume your friends are great. So an internal network is that most people neglect that they have a bigger network than they think. They have their churches, they have their synagogues, they have their soccer teams, they have their LinkedIn, they have their Facebook, they have their Twitter, they have their Instagram. You have more people around you for your marketing than you realize. So let's say you're starting a business doing trip planning, easy. Now what I want you to think about is like, have you messaged every single person potentially in your Facebook group and LinkedIn group and so forth that you think could be doing trips? Have you reached out to every single person in your internal network? Probably not. And every time I ask people, they're just like, well, I totally did it. I'm like, probably didn't. Here's a story about that. When we were doing AppSumo, I would literally, you, you can export your LinkedIn contacts and I would email everybody and I'd say, hey, you're one of my friends. You haven't seen AppSumo, you should go check it out. And you've gotta go and leverage your internal network, people who already know you and like you, before you try to go out and find all the randoms who have no idea who you are. The fifth thing that you need to be doing is your service providers. So what a service provider is, is anyone you're paying money to has customers for you. Here's an example, when I started Sumo Jerky, all of my friends worked at companies. So I said, hey, who's your office manager or your office boss or whatever, give me their information and I wanna sell them my jerky. And this is something I've even done with Sumo. I reach out to a lot of the customers that we're paying money to, like your accountants, your lawyers, your email provider, your hosting, whatever it is, reach out to these people. They will take your call because you're t paying them money and two, either them or someone they know 
will potentially be a client. So don't neglect the people you're already paying money, your service providers. All right, those are five things you can do today for free to grow your business.